good rainy Friday morning. I pray that everybody is doing well. I pray that you've had a wonderful week. I certainly have. It's just a brief check-in just to let you all know that for anybody who cares, again, <laughs> um, that everything is going well. I have adopted a new routine and I've actually switched my workouts to mornings, whereas I used to do them in the evenings. And so now I don't feel, um, you know, when I would have to get off work and sometimes I'd have to stop at the grocery store and then you'd have to cook dinner and then you'd have to fit the working out in. And, uh, you know, it was just annoying and usually everybody was home and I'm fighting over which TV I'm going to use to do my workout and you know all that kind of thing. Well I recently switched probably a couple of weeks back now to work it out in the mornings instead. It has made a world of difference. I'm telling you I am enjoying it so much. Um, as of this morning as you know, weight fluctuates. It goes up and down for various reasons. Hormones, water retention, certain times for ladies. Um, it's not linear. It's not usually just a steady going down. It goes down, bounces up. It does all kinds of things. Well, I've been doing a lot of weight training as well because I realize it's important as a person of my age, which I'm almost, I will be 50 next year. It's important to build muscle. I don't, my desire, I'm not trying to be skinny fat. The whole point is not for me to just lose uh, weight, right? I want to actually be fit. I actually want to be toned. I want to put on muscle because that is better for your overall health and helps you to additionally burn fat. And so, um, you know, that's something that I've been focusing on a lot. So with that being said, and I've also increased my protein intake as well, as well as my calories in general, kind of doing more of a reverse dieting. Um, because if you maintain too much of a calorie restriction for too long, that will actually work against your health goals. And so I... And a lot of times the calorie restriction was not because I was trying, but because eating the way that I eat, keto, ketovore, carnivore, is so satiating that it's you get full and satisfied very easily and it becomes easy to under eat. And so one day I sat down in one of those calculators and I realized that I was not eating enough. So once I increased my calories, I increased my protein, I actually started seeing even better results. Crazy as that sounds. And so it has just been amazing. I'm never hungry. I'm not starving, you know, or any of those things. And I've lost weight before and gotten in shape several years ago by doing low fat, low calorie, and I was successful. I was successful uh, on that. I lost a lot of weight. I was going to a boot camp class in the mornings. I got in really good shape. I was extremely miserable though, and I'm just being honest. My food was bland and I was hungry all the time. And I just made up in my mind those years ago that I was not gonna do, do it that way again. I just was not. So um, this way is so much more satiating and I'm not new to this. I've been doing this for a while now. Um, and I've often heard people say that it's unsustainable. And I always say that any type of lifestyle is unsustainable to the person who's unable to sustain it. Uh, so just because it may not work for you does not mean that it does not work for someone else. And really, if you change your habits and change your lifestyle and you get results for any one of them, it doesn't matter whether it's a uh, keto, whether it's Weight Watchers, whether it's a uh, plant based, whatever it is, and you get results and then you stop doing it. So it's not being unsustainable is not specific to keto. So anyway, um, en enough of that rant. But uh, I've done this off and on for several years now. And out of everything that I've ever done, it has been definitely the one that has worked the best. Um, I feel like I'm really just babbling at this point. But the point that I was making is um, now that I'm attempting to build muscle as well, and I, I literally, y'all, I can I can feel it happening. I reach down and I'm 
feeling stuff and I'm feeling stuff being hard that was never hard before. So um, it is going well. So with that, I have understood that the numbers on the scale don't always reflect that because, and that's the reason why I've said in previous videos, I'm not numbers obsessed because there are a lot of things that come into play regarding that. So even though my weight can go up, I'm actually getting smaller and much more trim. So it did bounce up after my lowest low, which I think I said was 198 point something. It done been all the way back up to 203, you know, all kind of craziness. As of this morning and a couple of days this week, I was back under the 200 mark. Um, it's not really a big deal, actually, because like I said, I'm getting the results that I desire. I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling on 10 every morning. I'm excited to wake up in the morning. Um, not only am I working on the physical part, but just I'm, I'm spending more time purposely in terms of devotion time and really carving out time for that specifically. Um, and it, it, I'm telling you, it's just been amazing. It's been amazing in every way. Every morning, I'm like, let's go. Like, I feel like I can run through a troop and leap over a wall. I'm telling you, my energy has been insane. So, uh, it's just been wonderful. It's been wonderful. I have no complaints. Um, God is good. We believe in God over here. I know that not everybody does, but that's a big part of my life. I won't deny him ever. So, anyways, I pray that everybody is doing well. I pray that you have a wonderful Friday, that you have a great weekend. That was just a short update just to check in see how everybody was doing. I pray that you are well. I am headed to work. Um, have a blessed one, y'all. Peace out.